generally I thought a few years ago you were actually buying friends, paddy paddy. Have you ever um, been close to them? Yeah, we 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 uh we cook for each other at night time on the phone. And you go to detail. He, 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 he has problems with like insomnia and stuff, and he can't sleep, so I usually get on the phone and sing him lullabies and stuff like that. And that helps him with his sleeping problems. And that's, that's how we uh, roll. After the fight, he, he called you out. He didn't call you out, but he said, oh, I'd like to fight Tyson Fury. But he did also say in the post-fight press conference that I want to fight Tyson Fury now because it's all about timing. In a few fights' time, Tyson Fury is going to be too sharp and too good for me. To be honest, and this is speaking very, very honest and openly, I don't want to fight Tony Belly. The reason being, he's a family man and he's got a wife and kids. And I want him to stay healthy and stay boxing and earn a few quid and go home easy to his family. But if he steps in the ring with the Gypsy King and I unleash hellfire on him, he's only a small man and I could damage him hurt him properly. You ain't messing with a David A who's 20 years out of date. You mess with someone 6 foot 9, 19 stone in the prime of my life who can knock a wall down. One of the hardest punching in heavyweight boxing, but they don't know him. I don't want to fight Tony Bellew. Tony Bellew's a light heavyweight slash cruiserweight at best. So if I get, if I go in there and hurt him, so what good is that? How does that make me feel? Knowing he shouldn't even be in the ring anyway. Well, listen, we all need money, but he doesn't need money that bad to go and lose his senses and get smashed in the And all this thing, he could knock me out, whatever, please. I could let Tony Bell, you hit me right there and he wouldn't hurt me. That's just a way Klitschko detonated right hand after right hand on that jaw there. Side up, bang! Never won on me once, all got trying fists. So we done to Joshua with the same punch. So Tony, poor old Tony, be like a feather duster, duster me up and down. But that is what I say is no, I don't want to fight Tony because look, end of the day, Tony should fight Andre Ward or someone on that level who's a light puncher who's smaller. Can't believe what I'm hearing this morning, ladies and gentlemen. I just can't believe it, man. Uh, Tony Bellew is apparently calling out the Gypsy King himself, Tyson Fury. Um, first of all, huge fan of both fighters. Second, um, Tony, no. No, 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 no. We all saw what you did to David Hay. Most people predicted that that would happen. Good for you, man. Tyson Fury is a whole nother league for you, man. First of all, you two, if it wasn't for... Well, I think they are separated by, what, two weight divisions? Light heavyweight, cruiserweight, heavyweight. Yeah, two weight divisions, right? Uh -huh. On top of that, uh, Tony Bellew is about 6'3". Um, Tyson Fury is 6'9", ladies and gentlemen. He is literally the height of a primetime basketball player, toe-to-toe -to -toe with LeBron James. His reach has to be out of this world. Boxing is a reach game. It's a sweet science game. It's a footwork game. There is no way that Tony Bellew is going to get on the inside of Tyson Fury and beat Tyson Fury. I highly doubt that would ever happen. Now, I would love to see that fight in an MMA setting. Why? Um, when in doubt, take it to the ground, man. Wrestlers rule MMA. They're the champions. They're the long-lasting champions. And they're usually the ones who are the most dominant in the ring. Ergo, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Huge name. Uh, about to become a huge name in MMA. But, yeah. Tony Bellew, man, I think you should really pursue the Andre Ward fight, man. This is this tree is too tall for you to chop down. Sorry. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.